Hey you guys, this is an update on my uh, apple cider vinegar. Um, this one is the one that I did with the core. It looks kind of yucky on it. Um, this one is more sweeter. It's not as tangy. It's tangy, but not that vinegar tangy, tangy, tangy. Um, so this one, I think I'm going to use this one for um, cleaning our vegetables and stuff like that. Now this one is the peel. Ebony, can you grab the vinegar? I want to compare the colors. Now this one is with the core. I'm sorry, this one is with the peel. Peels, nothing but peels of the orange, of the apple. Thank you. Now you can see, it's amazing you, we don't see the nasty, because um, this don't look that bad, right? And until the mother settles down in the bottom and then you got to shake it all up. And, but um, you can see the, the similar in color with this one and this one. This is darker. This one is darker and it looks more fuller and, and things of that nature. And I believe it's the type of apples that you use also, so it will make a difference. Um, and then this one is red. But guess what? This one has the apple cider vinegar, vinegar, vinegar taste. It tastes lovely. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. And then this one here is the first one that I did. I mean, this is not the first one that I did, but this is the one that I did um, before these two. I was experimenting with the core and the... And you can see this one is even lighter than the other two. Um, this one, I believe, is the core as well. It doesn't have that. This one really looks like um, this one. It really it smells fermented. Um, oh gosh, this one smells really bad. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna try that one again. And this is how I do. I keep it. Paper towels and a rubber band. But this one also we're going to use for cleaning. But this one is really good. You can see the mother. She's floating. She's actually on the inside of the glass. And also you can see underneath there on the bottom. Y'all can see that without me wasting. The mother is in there. And that's a beautiful, beautiful vinegar taste there. So this one, I need to put in a jar. A big jar. Do we have a... I'll get it, the big jar. See how many ounces I got out of that. I think I'm going to combine these two here. Oh, you get it? Now this one stinks. Ooh. It smells like vinegar. But as far as the the taste, this one is sweet. It's sweet. Maybe it's not ready yet, so I'm gonna let this one stay before I um do anything with that. But this one is more Closer in color with this. And this is the core in the apples. I think. No, I'm sorry. This is the core. I don't know if you guys can see. But this is more closer. Because the other one is lighter and this one is more redder. And it has that vinegar taste. Now let's see how much. 
because I don't have a top for this one. And I need to, um, whoa, it smells so good. I'm going to need these jars. Not, I don't need them right now anyway. Perfect. Perfecto. So this is how much I made. And remember you guys, all I did was add sugar to sugar and distilled water to my apples. Um, and you can see the mother floating around in there. Yeah, she's in there. And, uh, yeah, we have, uh, what is this, four cups, six, I'm talking about four cups. This is a little over six cups. Six cups of homemade apple vinegar. And, you guys, we can make our own stuff at home. Um, instead of buying, buying. I mean, we can buy, do whatever you you do, but it's just for suggestions and stuff like that. Like I said, this one is going to be for cleaning. I'm going to pour it up in a spray bottle. And this one is for food. This one is going to go back on the wheel. <laughs> To sip some more and then I'll probably come back and talk to y'all about this one but other than that that's all folks thanks for stopping by make your own apple cider vinegar I think I did a video to show no I didn't show you how to do it what I did Ebony was making apple butter you know like when you're juicing and stuff like that you can take the peel or the pulp or if you peel your apple apples you, you have to have a whole lot, but it's, it has to be when you're doing a big project using apples. Um, we were making, Ebony was making apple butter. So we took the peels, I took the peel, or a layer of peels, and then I put a layer, I put like a quarter of a cup of sugar, and then I put water. Then I kept repeating the layers. Apple scraps. <laughs> Sugar, water, apple, scrap, sugar, water until I got to a uh, fill, filling up the jar. And this one, on these two I did at the same time. This one is older. So that's why I know I'm going to use this for cleaning. This one, these two were at the same time, but we used the peel and the core. So I'm thinking maybe the core needs to sit a little longer and we'll see what happens. With this, um, but anyway, that's it. That's how you make your own apple cider vinegar. You can make peach vinegar, whatever, grape vinegar, doing the same process. All at home, lemon vinegar. I don't know about no lemon I'm looking at those lemons. Um, that's something to, ex to explore. Citrates or acid and acid. Thousand rolls to you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Shalom. Don't want to drop that, right?